Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to dive into one of the most important aspects of SEO, keyword research using SEMrush. As you know, finding the right keywords is really essential for any successful online business. But with so many tools available, it can be overwhelming to know where to start. In this video, we'll show you step by step how to use SEMrush to uncover the best keywords for your website. So, stay tuned. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Now guys, all I need you to do is go to your browsers. So launch your browser, go to the URL section through here. As you can see, search for SEMrush.com. Here it is. And here we go. Now, as you can see, this is the website, and this is how it looks like when you first open it. Just so you know, the website is not free completely. If we click here, you will notice the pricing, and here you can keep choosing which kind of pricing you'd like. There's the pro one, the guru one, and the business one. So you can go through each one of these and see their own features. As you can see here, this is the plans and down below here, you will find all the features available for each plan. So for example, here for the pro one, it is 120 bucks per month. It has only five projects and 100, uh, 500, I mean, keywords to track. It has keyword domain and backlinks analytics, but the other ones doesn't have it. So goes for the guru. One. It has all the pro one with these other three. Now the business one, of course, will have everyone. And of course, if you were an entrepreneur and you had like a company, you'd like to have a custom plan for your own business, you can just click on try a custom plan from over here. So you just click on it and then sign up and send your request to the customer support. Now for us, what we're gonna do is simply go here and let me just look out to show you how to log in for the same first time. So all you need to do is simply go ahead and click on sign up which is the button over here if you have an account you can just click on log in so let's click on sign up they will take us to this page well for me i usually don't log in using email and password i usually like to create my account using gmail because it saves so much time so all you need to do is click on gmail from here it will open this page for you choose the email and just sign into your account so for me i have already an account now they will just take me to it. This is the actual page that will open for you when you will open your account. So now here you will have the dashboard. Here you can see your project. If you'd like to create a new project, all you need to do is click in here to create a new project. So let's click on it. And then here, all you need to do, enter a domain or a subdomain or subfolders not or like for example subfolders are not supported so make sure to use only domain on subdomain here you have to put the project name so let's try for example here i'm going to click on create project and here it is the project now these are the information about the keywords that you have in your website let's if you want to like have position tracking you can set up set up it from here site audit on page SEO checker so this one will check each page of your website you can go through all of this by your own and see it so they have like infinite amount of features that you can add to your website as you can see for example if you'd like to try any one of these just click for example on setup and here just choose targeting for example Google I'm going to of course target Google because it's it is the most famous one and let's continue to keywords. Main, add tag, let's add this ones. Mm -hmm. Add tag, save. Uh, good, let's add this one and let's start tracking from here. All right, now as you can see, they will start tracking and using a lot of things using SEMrush. So now as you can see, gathering keywords data, zero on five. So just give it some time. And by the end, they will give you all the analytics about your position tracking using the keywords that you have put it in there. So let's give it some time and I will be right back to you guys. And back to you guys after it has been done. 
So these are all informations about the keywords that I have used. Now from here you can analyze everything. Of course it is, has not been correctly done. So this one will appear. Everything in here will change when the day has to end. So we have to give it some time. So for example, if you did this analytics, uh, for example, in the midday, you'll have to wait until the midday of tomorrow. And then this page shall change with all of these information. The graph will change. Everything will change. Now, let's go back to our main thing in this video, which is how to do the keyword research in SEMrush. Well, as you can see here in this menu, so there is a whole menu of keyword research. We have just talked about one of them, which is position tracking. Here you will have keyword overview, keyword magic tool, keyword manager, position tracking, organic traffic insights. So using all of these, you will be able to keyword research. So let's start with keyword overview. Here, as you can see, all you need to do is enter from one to a hundred keywords separated by commas. And then for example, let's write something like that. So here, here is the volume of this keyword, the keyword difficulty, the global volume. So for example, the US are the most people that is that's were searching for it. There is like 450K person searching for this keyword, which is loans, Indian comes the second, and UK comes the third. So this one will help you especially detecting which kind of customers you should specify or like concentrate on or focus on. So this is really, really important to use. Here you can choose the which country to focus on, here's the volume, the result, the CPC price. Imagine guys, this is even the CPC price and how many ads there are about loans. So there is about 25 ads about loans. And make sure guys that this is only for Google. There is nothing but Google in here because I have chosen it in the beginning as you saw before. Here you will have some keywords idea that you can use, which has Good volume, for example, student loan forgiveness, 1.2 million, student loan, auto loan calculator, and much more. It is some questions that people ask about that, that you might have the answer for it, and people will be directed to your website. Here, some related keywords. So, for example, people might write this keyword that we have changed for, searched for, which is loans, uh, wrong, in a wrong way. For example, L-A-O-A-N-S, which is wrong, but people still search for it by mistake. So this is some related keyword that is similarly look like it. It is some, uh, the top website that have this keyword into it. For example, it's BA government, bankrate.com, rocket loans, and much more. Here, as you can see, if your website was one of the top 100, you just have to click here, search for it, and you might find it in this list. If not, that means that you will have to work on your SEOs and upgrade your keywords. Here it is, the keyword magic tool. And here, guys, you will have keyword search really, really better with some filters. So, for example, here it is, the keyword student loan forgiveness. It has the volume of 1.2 millions here is the trend there you see a graph here the kd which is very high it will take a lot of a lot of on page seo and content and so much more to actually be ranking up with this um with this like keyword which is don't really not highly recommended from the website to use because there's already people using it and yeah, they are like the top of it. So you can't really uh, be a competitive with them. Here it is the other one, it is student loans. I'm talking about this one because it has an incredible CPC, guys. Imagine $10. What is this? <laughs> like imagine having $10 for a CPC. It is cost per click. This is really crazy. Imagine having like Google Ads with uh, student loans and having like this ad on your website this is completely insane guys and these are like the results that you will have if they search for this keyword so there is 
200 million, 500 million, 300 million. And by the way, this is updated for this week. So everything here is really updated for this week. Not a month before, not a day before, not a year before, but this week. So if you try to use one of these, you will be able to actually make some profit because it is the trend. It is the trend that is currently available. Here, for example, this one, Bidding Student Loan Forgiveness, it has 42. So you can possibly be a competitor in this uh, keyword. You can win and get some visitors and actual real traffic using this keyword. But for those who has 100, I highly recommend you guys to really, really just ignore them or try to like just get away from them. Here it is, for example, this one has 19, which is easy. You will need quality content focus on the keywords intent. That's it. And it has a pretty good CPC, 15 bucks for it. This one as well, it has 23. So you just have to go through all of these and check which one you'd like to have. Here you have the keyword manager. The keyword manager, you can't really get it instead if you have the upgraded version. Here, all you need to do is simply collect your favorite keywords from across SEMrush, save your findings, get fresh metrics, and export your finding into an XLS uh, X, which is Excel sheet, or CSV, which is like a PDF file, or other SEMrush tools. And this will give you a deep analytics for keywords. So as you can see, it will the most up-to-date metrics and SERP features, evaluates keyword traffic potential, and keywords from different regional databases in one place. So this is really important to have if you want to have business that goes really viral. I highly recommend to upgrade your plan to one of these. And by the end, you will really have uh, you will not regret the fact that you have one of these. Of course, you can get this seven days free trial. Make sure to end it before the trial ends because they will charge you right after it. So, yeah, guys, this is completely it. I hope you like this video. I tried to give you all the information possible about it. So, thank you guys for watching and see you 